as we have been reporting, Republican Congressman Mike Johnson of Louisiana has been voted the new House Speaker. This comes after three unsuccessful weeks of various speaker bids and chaos and confusion and legislative paralysis. It also happened while candidates for the Republican nomination are in the throes of primary season. I want to go to Iowa now and talk to CBS News campaign reporter Nydia Cavazos. She is joining us from Des Moines. So, Nydia, based on your interaction with voters there in Iowa, did they have any strong feelings about the speaker vote? Yes, Major, good evening. Iowa residents and voters here have had a lot to say during the past days and during the past events. As you know, many GOP candidates have been here in Iowa campaigning. Many of the voters who I've spoken to, they identify themselves as Republicans, but they're not necessarily proud of where their political party stands right now. It's a combination of what they describe as shame, and it's also a combination of them wanting to have a speaker in the first place. But overall, there's also a consensus among voters and residents residents here in Iowa that they say that this situation in itself could have been avoided and should have been avoided from the very beginning. Let's take a listen. I, I think it's a shame. I really, really do. I, I think they should have been able to come together and work that through a long time ago. I think they should have had somebody in line before they ousted McCarthy. I, I don't really have an opinion whether he should be gone or not. But, yeah, they should have somebody lined up, ready to go when they, they got rid of the hard thing yeah. As I've spoken to some of these voters throughout the past days, it, this is sort of a laughing matter to them, and it's also somewhat of a disbelief to them. They say over and over that they can't believe that this situation had to escalate and get to this point where we're at right now. In fact, they say that they should have had a plan from the very beginning. And some of the voters who I spoke to said, Republicans in Congress are making us look bad. And as I had previously mentioned, many here in Iowa identify themselves as Republicans, but that's far from feeling proud of where their political party stands now. So, Nydia, how much of this was something that the Republicans campaigning for the nomination in Iowa were talking about themselves, meaning it was part of their presentation, or were they getting questions about it from people they were interacting with? Well, when it comes to some of the voters and the residents here in Iowa, this wasn't necessarily what amongst one of their major concerns. In fact, what they're most concerned about is that it's listening to GOP candidates who have come here to Iowa to campaign, and they are genuinely interested in listening to what candidates have to say, what their platforms are, and in fact, what their solutions are to many of the issues that are currently happening across the world, from the war in Israel and Hamas to the U.S. southern border. So residents are coming into these numerous events from town halls to even tailgates during the weekend to listen in and really get a sense of what these candidates are offering, because there is a general consensus here in Iowa, a sort of fatigue. They're just tired of this chaos and of this drama, as they've described it, especially with what's been happening in Congress for the past three weeks. A new member of our campaign team, 2024, Nydia Cavazos. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Major.